Latin America stocks seeing a good start to the year, but there are some risks to the rally. Seema Modi is here with more on that for us. Seema. Hey, Kelly. It's one of the most frequent questions JP Morgan's Latin America team is getting is when will the Brazil rally come to an end after gaining 46 percent in the first three months of this year? It's the intro of their note to clients today. And while they remain overtly bullish and say the rally can last, one of the risks they do highlight is the upcoming presidential election being a source of volatility. The current president, Jair Bolsonaro, is facing off against left-wing leader and former president Del Silva, who is currently in the lead. At first, there were concerns that Del Silva would usher in a leftist agenda, but those concerns have dissipated as he positions himself as a moderate. His running mate is also a center-right leader who is expected to bring more market-friendly policies should they win. That's not the only political event. In Mexico, President Obrador is poised to win a referendum that is expected to accelerate his policies, also seen as not so much pro-business. It's one of the reasons Capital Economics says Mexico has underperformed in recent days. Politics have been known to move markets in Latin America more so than other regions where leaders can come in and push policies at a faster rate. And that's why investors are keeping a close eye on these events, Kelly. But as you say, that it's really Brazil, the, the kind of key market to watch right now. And maybe Petrobras, an example of that. Such an important company to watch. It's Brazil's state-owned oil company, one of the largest in the world. They currently don't have a CEO who recently stepped down just days before a shareholder meeting. And the co company is looking at uh, ushering in a a fuel subsidy as lower income consumers struggle with higher fuel prices. It's kind of an interesting dichotomy where Brazil, an exporter of oil, so yes, it's benefiting from their higher prices, but as we've seen with the lower average income amongst most households there, they're getting hit by higher fuel. Would that be a headwind for Petrobras? I mean, I assume, you know, if they have, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, right? It cuts into their margin. So that's why, that's actually something the current president is discussing with the company at this point. All right, they're hanging on still to a 14% gain year to date. Seema, yeah. thank you. We appreciate it.